Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I have got an extra video for you tonight and this is an exciting one. If you remember last Christmas, I did my very first snow windows inspired fully by Tom at Snow Windows. I follow him on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and his work is next level elite. He was doing these TikTok lives showing detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to do a snow window and I was like I need to do this I need to do this so I went to Poundland and I got myself some glass scrapers some window scrapers for literally one pound and then I bought some snow spray and I was using like an oyster travel card to actually like chisel it into place and that is the video that I posted here on my YouTube last year well Tom really showed his appreciation. I tagged him in all of my work and he really was appreciative that I took the time to follow his instructions and do a video on it. This year, fast forward 2023, this year we are collaborating together. I'm collaborating with Snow Windows. I about passed out when they asked me, um, Tom's amazing wife messaged me and asked me if I would be interested in collaborating with them like I'm gonna say no, it's snow windows. Snow windows are probably the UK's most amazing snow spray artists. Tom is an incredible, I mean, I'm gonna tag, okay. I'm gonna leave all of their details down below. So their TikTok, their YouTube, their Instagram, and their Facebook page. But today's video, like I said, it's an extra one, but I am collaborating with Snow Windows for Halloween and we're gonna do a collaboration for Christmas, which I'm ridiculously excited about. Fingers crossed, if tech allows it, we're gonna go live together and do some window snow spray for Christmas. That's later on in the year, obviously, but this is a Halloween one. Snow windows actually have now developed and are selling their own stencils to make life easier. And when I tell you, the excitement was real, okay? The excitement was real. They produce stencils with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do your own windows. I'm going to wait until late tonight to film because you really need the background to be dark in order to see the snow. So, yes, I'm going to wait until it gets dark to film the actual video. Otherwise, I'd have to go outside and tape up all of my windows using black sheeting so that you could really see what was happening. And it's too cold for that. It's too cold for that. So I'm going to film at night. We're going to have a nice, cosy evening of filming. Thank you so, so much to Snow Windows for sending me over your stencils. They look incredible, cannot wait to use them. I know there's step-by-step -step instructions, so I'm feeling a bit more chill about it all. I hope I do them justice. I hope you guys love it, and I hope you snow windows as well. I hope you love it too. Everything you need to know, if you want to get your hands on these stencils, is going to be in the description box below. But the fact that I'm even collaborating with snow windows. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to go cook dinner and then tonight I'm going to crack on and get on with it and hopefully they come out okay. Uh, <laughs> let's go. So this is around 7pm in the evening. Cannot believe how dark it is now guys. I love it so much. This is the stencil kit. It's quite massive and it comes with all of the components that you need for your snow window. All you need to do is peel the protective backing off of each component. Now you've got this large area here, which is a moon with some bats running through it and almost like a hill, um, a hint of a hill going up to this castle on the top of the hill. And that is beautiful. Then you've got two graveyard components. So you have this giant kind of cross gravestone and then you've got a smaller one with a couple of gravestones on it and then the third component is your actual zombies so it is about as straightforward as it gets you put all of the components on the window first and then it is time to snow spray this is what the zombies look like before their protective coat has been taken off and this is what they look like after and i'm hoping you can kind of see it's just really hard to film in the dark but I think it's important this is where I have put my zombies I have to say my window was the most perfect size for the stencil kit the next step we need to spray the moon first I love that this comes with step by step step number one spray the moon stencil 
and then remove the moon stencil pulling it up from the bottom now I am just giving this really short light bursts as well and just making sure that every element of the stencil was fully covered and then it was time to peel it up from the bottom and oh my goodness me I absolutely loved it I absolutely loved it now I did use my pound shop metal glass scraper just to clear around the edges because this snow spray it does get everywhere there is a bit of a cleanup to do afterwards the next step we need to spray over and around the zombies, peeling them up from the bottom. Again, super simple. I did go a bit heavy on the spray, I feel. I do feel like <laughs> my results don't exactly look like the photos, but I went a bit heavy on the spray in some areas. Again, it's just fun. It's just fun. I did use a knife to peel my zombies up from the bottom because it was a bit fiddly that obviously the snow is really wet on the window so I would definitely recommend using the tip of a knife or even a little cocktail stick or anything like that that's really super fine the final step is to spray over and around the gravestones so they just make it so so easy I've given a bit of a mist to the bottom of the zombies as well and just spraying around the gravestones before peeling them up with my knife now when I said that these fit my window perfectly the two grave elements literally meet in the middle of my window it couldn't have been more of a perfect size and that is pretty much it it just then suggests to give a real light mist to the bottom of the gravestones as well and then you've got your misty scene how adorable is this i absolutely love it i love i love the zombies i love the bats inside the moon i would probably add a bit more white into the center of that moon next time just to give it more of a glow but i love everything about it I could have ended it there guys but no I hadn't <laughs> I hadn't quite finished with the excitement um without even washing the stencils I stuck them back on the window next to it so this is a, like a tri window that we've got in the kitchen I figured I might as well fill them all up because just having the one in the middle was not going to cut it you know I didn't wash these sorry snow windows I was kind of like risking it risk it for a biscuit as they say I just went ahead and stuck them straight on would would they stick you know they've already coated in snow would I have a problem here but absolutely no problem whatsoever they all clung to the windows as if they were fresh out of the pack which was amazing because then I just felt like I could just crack on and get more done so we've now got two windows done of course I just left the moon for the central window because we don't need how many moons tell me in the comments below would you survive a zombie apocalypse what would you do in a zombie apocalypse because I know for a fact I would not survive I absolutely would not survive I don't do well hungry for sure and also I'd be like do you know what <laughs> no mortgage are you telling me I don't have to pay my mortgage are you telling me I don't have to pay gas and electric anymore take me take me now I'm done let's go <laughs> let me know what your number one strategy would be in a zombie apocalypse anyway back to the video I've put them again on the th on the first window on the first window pane and again same method this is the third time these are being sprayed and they clung to the window without issue the only issue I had was the bottom one because I'd touched the back with my snow finger you don't want to do that you really don't want to do that but again did not take away from it it came out absolutely perfect using my knife just to peel up the corner so I can peel up from the base and again just adding a bit of snow at the bottom now I did forget to add a bit of snow at the bottom on the window on the right I went back and did that and I absolutely love it oh my god it's like the most eerie hammer horror kind of like Edgar Allan Poe-esque zombie apocalypse scene right now if I did things differently next time I would have the cross on the right hand side the big cross I would I would have brought it over to the right hand window and that little graveyard scene 
I would have brought it over to the left hand window just because there's two crosses together and I didn't think about that at the time I was just having too much fun these are so easy to clean even with three layers of the snow spray I've just rinsed them under my taps please ignore the state of my worktop everything can be explained in my home channel if you go and watch my at home with Claire channel you'll see why my my worktop is in such a bad state but hey <laughs> it's it's usable again just rinsing them off with warm water and putting them onto a tea towel to dry thoroughly I actually layered them up so I rested them all on a tea towel I put another tea towel down on top so on and so forth and I rested more on top of that but yeah the, the biggest one was fiddly but this vinyl I can't explain it it's like a plasticky vinyl that reminds me very much of like a paddling pool material when we were younger so it's very much a cling a cling material clings to the window like a dream but yeah here we are let me know what you think of it let me know if you do anything for Halloween we are of course away for Halloween we're going to be in Edinburgh this year walking the spooky streets and doing a ghost tour hopefully if as long as George doesn't see anything if George sees something we're gonna be back in the van and we're gonna be heading home <laughs> hope you've enjoyed this one the next day I actually did add to this window I got up in the morning and I looked at it and I thought it needed me to put my own little personal touch on it and that was to actually spray just a little bit I don't want to take away from the graves I just wanted to spray over the graves and add in my own little dates or like R.I.P. So I put like 1610 on one grave, R.I.P. on the other grave and then I just sprayed this grave here and I added another date just because I could and it's fun and I just think it gives it a little bit of something something. Now there will be techniques to have got this a little bit neater than I did but hey it's really at night when these windows come to life. If you remember my Christmas ones from last year, I could not get enough. This snow spray comes off the window super easily with your blade, with your uh, glass blade, literally one scrape and it is off, but then you will need to scrub your windows afterwards because there's always a little bit of residue, but really, really, really easy to clean. We clean our windows anyway, so it's really no effort. I did have to wipe the windowsill there that you see because the snow spray does drop down. Other than that, doesn't matter for me the mess is totally worth it it was so much fun thank you so so much to snow windows for sending me over the stencils and guys i hope you've enjoyed this extra little video i'm gonna leave all of the details for snow windows in the description box below if you would like to get yourself some of those stencils they also have christmas stencils and i've got them and i cannot wait to use them they look adorable with santa in his sleigh flying across the sky I cannot wait cannot wait it's ridiculous how excited i am for christmas I hope you love it. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.